Actually, we're going to go two tonight because I want it extra flavorful. What this is going to do is kind of prime the oil with a little flavor. So what I just added here was some um, cardamom, some green cardamom pods. And just go ahead and add the whole thing. Don't be shy. We're going to pull it out later. There's been a few times when I forgot to pull them out and my wife broke her tooth. So I'm going to be extra careful this time. Now I'm going to add some... some uh, whatever you call those, I forget, cloves. Now as you can see, this is starting to toast a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. While we're doing this, I'm gonna add the remainder of my um, ginger garlic paste. I'm going to let that toast and brown for a little bit while I cut up my tomato. Ah! Now, I'm going to add a pinch more of turmeric, a pinch more of coriander, a pinch more of garam masala. It's a big pinch. But now I'm going to add about 15 ounces of tomato puree. Now that that's cooked enough, what I'm going to do is run it through a blender. in a pan. You can do this in an oven. I choose to do the oven because I have greater control and also it allows me to drink a beer in between. We're going to go ahead and add the two ingredients together. We stick it in the oven for about, I dare say, 15 to 20 minutes. here is the end result. Bon appetit! Well, I thank you for joining us for the very first installment of James Pan's Curry Cane, where tonight we made a chicken tikka masala. And boy, did it come out aromatic. Mmm, delicious. And nutritious. My hope to you. And thank you for joining James Pants' Curry King.